week I'm back with one of my favorite style of videos. I have got three easy balanced bowl recipes. You might take one idea from one bowl, one from another, merge it together. These ideas allow you to find your own flow, your own rhythm in the kitchen. Just really trust that you know exactly what you're doing. You can use these recipes as a framework to add your own flavor and your own touch. For more of my recipes, including my recent ebook, Balanced Bowls, head over to my website, go and check all of my ebooks out over there. Word of warning, you're gonna get very hungry watching these ideas. Let me know which one is calling your name, which one you'll be trying out first in the comments. I'm so ready to jump into these easy balanced bowls. Let's go. This is my roasted chickpea halloumi and sun-dried tomato bowl. This is something that I like to call the ultimate non-basic salad. If you want something that just hits the spot, that feels good, that tastes good, this is the one. We're gonna make the most Moorish yogurt tahini dressing. We're gonna toast some pine nuts, make the most gorgeous garlic and herb pita chips. They're gonna be crunchy. The flavors, the textures, the overall oomph that you get from this bowl, trust me, this is the one. So we're gonna use some cooked chickpeas. Of course, you can adapt the spices, the seasonings to suit what you enjoy. I'm gonna be using some garlic powder, some garam masala, some cumin seeds, cause I kinda like the crunch in them, like the bite that you have once they're roasted. And I'm gonna be using lots of dried herbs. So other elements for this bowl, things that we're gonna roast alongside the chickpeas include aubergine. Who doesn't love roasted aubergine? And if you're prepping beforehand, roasting a big tray of vegetables, so aubergine, peppers, courgettes, would be perfect. We're also gonna make these, I like to call them pita chips, even though I'm not using pita bread, you could definitely use pita bread, um, but I'm using piadinas. We're gonna chop them up, roast them, add them to the bowl. They just add this crunch that I just love. It's that one time in the year where I actually enjoy cucumbers. So cucumbers are made for summer. This is the time to chop up your cucumbers and get them into your salads. Also going to be using some lettuce, so any lettuce of choice. So some very necessary toppings for this bowl. We're gonna be using some halloumi. We're gonna pan cook it until it's golden, just delicious. We're gonna be whipping up this beautiful tahini and yogurt dressing. I am telling you from now, best you make a big batch of this. I always make a big batch, keep it in the fridge and throw it over absolutely everything. It's that delicious. We're gonna need some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm using these sun-dried cherry tomatoes. Feel free to swap them out and use fresh instead. Not everyone likes the kind of like strong, distinct, kind of salty flavor of a sun-dried tomato. So yeah, work with what you like, work with what you've got. Lastly, but so such a key detail in this bowl. We are gonna need some pine nuts and we're gonna to toast them. So we're gonna preheat our oven to about 200 degrees Celsius and then we are going to chop up this aubergine. So chop it into kind of like medium sized pieces and then place the aubergine into a large mixing bowl. We're gonna season with some salt. I love to use za'atar. There are many variations of za'atar but generally it includes sesame seed, sumac, oregano, thyme. I absolutely love this spice blend and it works really well with the roasted aubergine. We're gonna drizzle over some olive oil, just making sure everything is covered really well. We're then gonna place the aubergine back onto a lined baking tray. Using the same mixing bowl, we're gonna place our cooked chickpeas in. You wanna make sure your chickpeas are patted dry, otherwise they just won't crisp up. So we're gonna spice up our chickpeas. We're gonna use some garlic powder. We're gonna throw in some garam masala, some dried herbs, some cumin seeds. I added in some curry powder. Such a random blend, but that is me. I have no rules and regulations when it comes to mixing and matching in the kitchen. I just go with what I feel. And um, yeah, this is the blend that I was feeling today. So onto the same tray as the aubergine, we're gonna place on our chickpeas and we're gonna whack the tray into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, just making sure that you just keep an eye on it. Whilst the aubergine and chickpeas are roasting in the oven, we're gonna prep the other ingredients for this bowl. So that includes this creamy, divine yogurt and tahini dressing. So in a bowl, swirl in some tahini. I do prefer to use a light tahini because it's just a little less bitter. Throw in some yogurt of choice. I'm using some thick Greek yogurt. Um, throw in some sea salt, a little touch of honey, some lemon juice and some water. Very, very simple ingredients. We're just going to mix everything, adding a little bit more water if necessary, just to reach your desired consistency. So you can go ahead and prep your salad ingredients, whatever you're choosing to use, whether that be lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, just go ahead, wash and prep all of the ingredients that you're using. I did peel the cucumber just because the skin was a little bit rough on this one, but usually I love to keep the skin on. That is where a lot of the goodness is at. 
So after the aubergine and chickpeas have been in the oven for about 20 minutes, we're gonna prep our flatbread. So we're just gonna chop them up um, into like these little pieces. If you would prefer to use your hands and just tear them up, that will also work. So we're gonna remove the tray from the oven, look at these aubergines and chickpeas. We're just gonna kind of like move everything over a little bit. So we have room for the flatbreads. We're gonna place them on. I like to throw over a little bit of olive oil, some garlic powder and some mixed dried herbs. We're then gonna place the tray back into the oven and we're going to cook everything for about seven to ten minutes but keep an eye on these flatbreads because you will see they will cook really fast and we don't want to burn them the last couple of steps includes just dry toasting some pine nuts on a medium heat we're also going to cook some halloumi i added a little bit of olive oil into the pan and just cooked my halloumi until it was golden looking something like this after about the seven to ten minute mark remove the tray from the oven you're going to have these really crispy crunchy delicious flatbread croutons we're going to have that flavor packed oozing with flavor aubergine those crispy chickpeas yeah let's put this one together so place on your lettuce of choice chopped cucumber sun-dried tomatoes maybe you're using fresh place those on roasted aubergine and those roasted chickpeas those garlic and herb pita chips or flatbreads that golden halloumi the toasted pine nuts give it a good swirl of that yogurt and tahini dressing place on top more crispy chickpeas more pine nuts i finished mine with some extra black pepper and just put a little bit more zatara on just to make it extra special everything about this bowl just screams summer this is one of those salads that you actually want to eat it's full of flavor full of layers full of so many different textures as well the crunch from the croutons and the crispy chickpeas such a wonderful contrast when you have ingredients like that roasted aubergine and those sun-dried tomatoes this for me is just that star non-basic salad guaranteed this one will be loved and devoured by everyone this video is sponsored by Current Body. The main reason why I wanted to start using the Current Body LED masks is because I am in my 30s and definitely over the last few years in particular, I have noticed some visible skin changes. Obviously, I'm super mindful with what I feed my body, what I eat. I'm equally as interested in external practices I can adopt. The main area on my face that I wanted to see some improvement from using the mask was my forehead. There are some fine lines that are very slowly creeping in, which I welcome by the way, but you know, if I can pop on a current body LED mask and over time it reduces the appearance of those fine lines plus improves the overall texture of my skin I am all in. The Current Body Masks uses two clinically proven wavelengths, red and near infrared light, which is most effective in slowing down aging. They both have super positive and regenerative effects on the skin. The LED light penetrates deep under the skin surface to promote and kickstart our skin's collagen production. I've been using the Current Body Masks for four weeks, using it five times a week for 10 minutes each time. The Current Body Masks should always be used on clean skin. There is an option to use the Current Body Green Tea Serum, or you could use a hydrogel mask. I use the Current Body Hydrogel Mask once a week when using the face LED mask. Here I am using the face plus the neck and decollete mask. You can simply adjust the mask with the straps and press the button to activate the LED lights. There are some protective goggles included with the face mask so you can wear these if you want to. I like to use these 10 minutes just to sit back and relax. It is the perfect opportunity just to switch off for a minute and just be still. Here is a before and after of using the Current Body LED mask consistently for four weeks. There was definitely a noticeable improvement in just the overall glow, texture, and plumpness of my skin. For more information on the Current Body LED masks, head over to their website. All of the information is in my description. You can also use this code TISHWONDERS at checkout to get 15% off all Current Body LED masks. This is a fully vegan plant-based option. This is my teriyaki tempeh and a spicy almond butter dressing bowl. This is all gonna be on a base of quinoa, steamed monge too, and the most amazing orange and sesame carrot salad. If you're a bit hesitant about cooking or using tempeh, maybe you haven't tried it before, this recipe will be the switch. This one will change the game for you, believe me. I love the simplicity and how effective this bowl is. This is one of those recipes that takes no time to throw together and will be on constant repeat in your kitchen, guaranteed. Like I mentioned, I've given tempeh a second chance and I'm so glad that I did because I have really enjoyed it as of late. I've learned that there's a particular step when cooking tempeh that just changes the final result of it and that is either steaming or boiling it. It makes all the difference. 
The theme of this video is to keep things simple, keep things easy. So I'm going to be using a shop bought teriyaki sauce. You can get some really great ones these days that taste so good. The way that I have been eating and enjoying Monge 2 as of late, it's just my thing right now. I just like to kind of like flash steam my Monge 2. And when I say flash steam, I mean just quickly steam it so it's still got that texture, it's still got that crunch. If you'd prefer to cook the Monge 2 using other cooking methods such as blanching or maybe lightly pan cooking, that would also work. My love for red quinoa continues and I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. I adore red quinoa. There's something so flavoursome about it. I love the nutty taste. I actually eat raw carrot salad quite often, um, but this is a little switch up from my normal, just regular raw carrot salad. So we're going to make this orange and sesame carrot salad. Just using a few ingredients, you're going to see how tasty this one is. So we're going to be needing some carrots, some sesame seeds. I am obsessed with furikake. I say it in almost every video. I feel like I add it into everything. So you you could use regular sesame seeds, you could use a blend like I'm using, furikake blend, you could use gomaseo, that's another really beautiful sesame seed blend. We're going to throw some chopped spring onions in there, we're going to use some orange, some rice vinegar. The spicy almond butter dressing is making a comeback in my kitchen, I used to love it, I literally used to throw it on everything. So we're going to be needing some smooth almond butter, some chili, honey, tamari or soy sauce, we're going to throw lots and lots of lime juice in there. So starting off with this tempeh, we're going to use a sharp knife. I like to cut mine into these triangle pieces. I would say one thing and that is that I like them quite thin. That's just my personal preference. Bring a pot of water to boil and place in your tempeh. You don't even need to add salt because you're going to see the teriyaki is going to give it so much salt. So at this point we're just simply going to boil it for about 10 minutes. Whilst the tempeh is boiling we're going to jump straight into preparing this orange and sesame carrot salad. So we're going to grab a peeler and we're going to just ribbon up our carrot. So we're going to place our ribbon carrots into into a bowl. We're going to squeeze over some orange juice, give it some rice vinegar, some salt, some sesame seeds. So that could be the furikake blend or just some regular sesame seeds. We're going to chop up some spring onions, add those into the bowl and just combine everything well. You could even use your hands if you want to just to get all those flavors merged together. After about 10 minutes of cooking the tempeh, we're going to just drain the water, just set it aside and we're going to continue by preparing our spicy almond butter dressing. So for this dressing, we're going to place our almond butter into a bowl followed on by some grated ginger, some chopped chili, a touch of honey or maple syrup. We're going to add in some tamari or some soy sauce, some lime juice and then we are going to add in some water. The water is just going to thin it out. Like the yogurt and tahini dressing, add the water gradually just until you reach your desired consistency. Give the dressing a taste, check if it needs anything more, maybe it needs a little bit more lime or chili or maybe a touch of honey. Cooking up this tempeh could not be easier so we're going to grab a pan, we're going to throw a little bit of oil in a pan on a medium heat and then we're going to place in our tempeh pieces so once golden on both sides we're going to turn the heat off completely and then we are going to pour in our teriyaki and everything is still going to be very hot so it's all going to just sizzle away you can flip the tempeh again just to make sure all is coated in that teriyaki sauce we left with the most golden looking delicious teriyaki tempeh could not be easier the last step is to prepare this monge too so whether you're steaming it blanching it preparing it in a pan just go ahead and cook it up your way. Like I mentioned, I want my Monge 2 to have that bite. So I just quickly steam it really, really quickly. Like I'm talking like one minute and it's done for me. So putting this teriyaki tempeh and spicy almond butter dressing bowl together, we're going to place on that quinoa along with the steamed Monge 2 and that carrot salad. We're going to top it with that teriyaki tempeh and just drizzle over, pour over, pour it over, pour over that spicy almond butter dressing. Top with some more sesame seeds. You can give it some coriander, a good squeeze of lime juice just to finish. Absolutely delicious. What I love most about this teriyaki tempeh is that number one, it's so easy to prepare as you just saw. It's also really versatile. If you want, you can chop it up and you can throw it into stir fries. You can have it with rice, with noodles. I'm having it with quinoa. I love it with quinoa. I love that all the elements in this bowl can be made up beforehand and just thrown together. Another great idea for meal prep if that's your thing. This bowl is one of my current favorites. All of the different elements just sing to me. I really really love this one. Better believe once I had finished filming this I poured on so much more of that almond butter dressing. It is so good. This is the kind of food that makes me feel so excited. Simplicity at its finest. So this is a niçoise bowl, a salad niçoise. Definitely nothing new here but obviously you can always throw your own twist on everything and I'm going to share with you what I love to do in this niçoise. For me personally 
a niçoise is the definition of a full bodied salad, a definite easy balanced bowl. The my niçoise bowl has all of the elements of a classic niçoise. We're gonna be using some tuna. If you don't eat fish and want a veggie option, chickpeas would be a great alternative. So we're gonna need some tomatoes. Right now, tomatoes are in their prime. They are fully flourishing. If possible, try and get hold of some of the tastiest tomatoes that you can find. We are going to need some potatoes. There's really no rules when it comes to variety. Just use what you have. I picked up these really beautiful, they're called pink fur potatoes. For this bowl, we're gonna boil the potatoes and we're gonna combine them with lots and lots of fresh herbs, butter, basically we're gonna make some herby potatoes. It wouldn't be a niçoise without olives. I am using calamata olives. I can easily find them in supermarkets. In saying that, you could use any variety of olive, preferably black olive, that you can find. Green beans are another must have in this salad. Um, they could be easily swapped out and you could use mange too in place again, or you could use sugar snaps. Sometimes I actually like using asparagus, sounds really random, but it does work. We're gonna chop up some cucumber. We're also gonna boil some eggs so you can soft boil them, you can hard boil them, however you want them, you can do your thing when it comes to the eggs. I'm telling you there's nothing that a niçoise doesn't have. It's no secret that every niçoise needs a good vinaigrette. So we're gonna whip one up. And this is the method in which I love to do it. I pour in some red wine vinegar, combine it with some minced garlic, some sea salt, some Dijon mustard, and some black pepper. So I start by just whisking everything together. I wanted to add a touch of honey, but that is completely optional. If you want to, you can do. I continued whisking until everything was almost smooth. And then I gradually swelled in in the extra virgin olive oil. Pouring in the olive oil gradually just means that you're gonna be left with a silky smooth vinaigrette. So moving on to prepare the actual ingredients in this balanced bowl, we're gonna start by chopping up the potatoes, just making sure that they're equally chopped in size. We're gonna bring a pot of salted water to a boil. Then we're gonna place our potatoes in. Pink fur potatoes actually take a lot longer than any other kind of regular potato that I use. So I think I boiled them for about 15 to 20 minutes, but just keep an eye on your potatoes and just boil them until they are soft. Whilst the potatoes are boiling, we can move on to prep the other ingredients. So we're gonna chop the ends of our green beans and just kind of set them aside until we're ready to steam them. If you have pitted olives and you want to chop them up, you can do that. You can go ahead and chop up the tomatoes that we're using. We're making these herby potatoes and we're gonna be using lots and lots of fresh parsley. So finely, 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 as finely as you can, chop up that parsley just so it releases all of those flavors. We are gonna drain the potatoes once they are cooked and just rinse the water off. So give it some butter. You can go ahead and throw on a little bit more salt if you need to. Um, give it some black pepper all of that fresh parsley, throw that on top with a swirl of olive oil and just combine everything. These potatoes are magical. I'm telling you, they are delicious. I use my steamer trays all the time in my kitchen. So I just rinsed the um, bottom pan, which I just boiled the potatoes in, placed in some water and just steamed my green beans. Simple. I also put my eggs to boil. My preferred timing for an egg, depending on what size, because sometimes I get smaller or larger eggs, it's around the six minute, 45 second mark. Most times I end up with the perfect jammy yolk, just how I like it. So placing up this niçoise, AKA the classic, original, easiest balance bowl. I started with a base of lettuce and then just placed everything else on top. So the green beans, those herby buttery potatoes, some cherry tomatoes, the olives, tuna, boiled egg, red onion. Then I generously poured over that vinaigrette, topped with some black pepper, and then also that kind of like buttery drizzle from the potatoes. I had some of that left over in the bowl. So threw that on top too. Satiate satisfying and absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, <laughs> this bowl has everything. So there we have it, three easy balanced bowls. I cannot wait to hear what you do with these ideas, how these ideas will impact your week. Let me know when you try them out. Let me know in the comments which one you'll be making first. Drop me a comment if you have anything to ask me. Head over to my website for all of my recipe eBooks. I will see you very soon in my next video. Until then, take care, bye.